Hello, my name is Anuj Tharakan. I'm excited to share with you our recent publication in Allergy titled D2-hydroxyglutarate suppresses allergic sensitization in a murine model of experimental asthma. Diseases such as allergic asthma and allergic rhinitis are mediated by Th2 cytokine production like IL-4, IL-5, and IL-13, as well as allergen-specific IgE synthesis. The combination of these factors result in allergen-induced tissue inflammation, ultimately resulting in allergic disease. The mechanisms that regulate allergic sensitization and the initiation of these allergic responses, however, are poorly understood. Recently, several genome-wide association studies have identified that single nucleotide polymorphisms in the D2H-GDH locus are associated with allergic asthma and allergic rhinitis risk with the G allele of the RS3429028-5 SNP uh, associated with lower risk of disease. To elucidate the effects of these SNPs, we analyzed the regulatory landscape of the D2HGDH locus using the ENCODE database. We found that the Sentinel SNP resides within a candidate cis regulatory element with distal enhancer-like features. Further, EQTL analyses demonstrate that this SNP results in reduced expression of the D2HGDH gene. D2HGDH encodes an enzyme called D2-hydroxyglutarate dehydrogenase, which results in conversion of D2-hydroxyglutarate to alpha-ketoglutarate. Therefore, the downregulation of the D2HGDH gene suggests that these SNPs may promote accumulation of D2-hydroxyglutarate which is a potent inhibitor of alpha-ketoglutarate-dependent dioxygenases. As allergic sensitization is thought to be mediated by dendritic cells, we next measured the relative levels of alpha-ketoglutarate and D2-hydroxyglutarate in murine dendritic cells following stimulation with a non-allergic stimulus, LPS, or the fungal allergen alternaria alternata. We found that alternaria induced a significant elevation in the ratio of alpha-ketoglutarate to D2-hydroxyglutarate relative to LPS-stimulated dendritic cells. This suggests that alpha-ketoglutarate and D2-HG may influence dendritic cell-mediated allergic sensitization. The effect of D2-hydroxyglutarate on allergic sensitization, we use the murine model of allergic airway sensitization. Mice were created intranasally with vehicle control or a cell permeable octal D2-hydroxyglutarate prior to airway exposure to the aero allergen alternaria alternata. Analysis of T-cell polarization in the draining lymph node revealed that D2-HG-treated mice exhibited significantly reduced Th2 cell polarization in a dose-dependent manner. Further, these mice had a reduction in T follicular helper 13 cell polarization, which is involved in high affinity IgE synthesis, as well as a reduction in IgE positive germinal center B cell proliferation. Additionally, D2 hydroxyglutarate enhanced the differentiation of T follicular regulatory cells, were, which are thought to suppress high affinity antibody synthesis. We wanted to assess the potential of D2-hydroxyglutarate to promote allergen tolerance in an experimental model of urine asthma. Mice were sensitized and boosted with alternaria alternata and the bystander antigen ovalumin on days 0, 10, and 20, and challenged on days 27 to 30. Mice were treated either with vehicle control or intranasal octyl D2-hydroxyglutarate on days 20 and 27. Mice treated with D2-hydroxyglutarate exhibit a significant reduction in asthmatic airway resistance uh, measured by Flexident. Additionally, D2-hydroxyglutarate treatment significantly reduced airway antigen-specific IgE synthesis and airway mast cell degranulation. In conclusion, our study reveals a potential mechanism by which D2-hydroxyglutarate dehydrogenase single nucleotide polymorphisms may influence allergic sensitization and allergic asthma risk, and further implicates D2-hydroxyglutarate as a potential regulator of allergic sensitization in allergic diseases.
With that, I'd like to thank my co-authors and collaborators here at Virginia Commonwealth University, as well as the editors at Allergy. Thank you for listening.